Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. It's an exciting day again today. We are going to unbox something in here. Something that you've already seen. What? What's Mr. Ticks up to? Why are we looking at the T6 ECG plus PPG smart band again? Well, if you remember in the review we did on this one, it was a great watch tethered to an incredible app that you could actually see your ECG waveform on. The only problem was when you turned it on, it turned out to be a little bit dim. Kind of difficult to see the screen. And that was a bit frustrating because it does so many nice things. So you know what? I went ahead and I checked with our uh, suppliers and good old Banggood had these in stock. I said, can you guys send one out, a production one, right off your shelf, just as if a customer bought it. I want to check something. And here it is. And uh, they do have these in stock and at a discount price. Check the show notes. They're our sponsor. If you like it and can buy from the link, that would be really, really helpful. Thanks. We got this one in. Different color. Let's check it out. Take off the cover on the top and uh, press it and hold it. And ta-da! It is brighter. Look at that. Check these out side by side. I mean, look at the difference. This is indoors and easily readable, much brighter, like at least a factor of two or three. And I think even the camera is probably not picking up that uh, contrast difference as well as your, your naked eye would. And yeah, you can see it outside, not really well in direct sunlight, but it is visible. You can see it. Excellent. Okay, so... The T6 is a fully functional band um, right off of the shelf and got a good bright screen to it. The other little issue I, I had with it, and unfortunately it's still an issue because it's still the same system, is the charging. Now let me tell you, after I did the review, I've played with it a bit, and charging is awkward on this. You have to line these pins up exactly right there and uh, plug it in and, and you'll find that this kind of is hanging off of the button a little bit that's not really on there tight of course i wouldn't have the cable all tied up in here but um there probably would be a better way of charging this however we don't have that right now so you line it up if it goes a little off like that and i've had that happen it doesn't charge so the trick is you squeeze it you get it lined up perfectly you set it down. It should light up and say it's charging. Now see how it's a little off right there? I can guarantee it's not making good contact with the pins. You want to make sure it's square right there. Just wiggle it a little bit once you get them in, the, in position. Very awkward, but that's what we've got. Um, but it's a very functional band with a long life to it. So once you've got it charged up and you put it on, you can do all the things that you want to do. And it works really great for all of that stuff. Uh, we've showed you the manual. We have showed you the whole review of the band itself. I'll have a link. It'll show up here at the end of the video, and it'll be down in the notes below um, to click over and get the full review of the T6. I did want to mention that the tethering app uh, that I believe I showed you in the video is called Wearheart, but notice it's by He Ming Company, and if you go to the Google Play Store and you scroll down, um, you'll find more of the apps from He Ming which is this company. And as I mentioned in the other video, Wearheart is just one of them. There's several others in here. Now, not all of them, but at least four of them, I believe. GoHeart, FitLive, mm, I'm not sure, maybe HeartBand 2. Check them out. If they look the same, when you call them up and they look like this, with this kind of a page, to that kind of a page, to that kind of a page, and that kind of a page, those are the four tabs here, then you're probably looking at exactly the same uh, basic app as the main one. And it just a different kind of a look and feel to it. This is a little bit more plain. The other one is all colorful. And any of these uh, apps that look the same will work the same. So the layout is uh, the only thing that's different in 
the look and feel from it. So you got the tethering app. You've got the band with the bright screen. You got the information about uh, connecting it to charge. The last thing I want to tell you is if you want some more background information on this, there is a lot out there. I don't know if you've ever done this before. Instead of just going to Google and typing in Google, if you start your search with scholar.google.com, you get into a whole different Google search. And you can go in and put in, for example, ECG plus PPG, which is the technology behind this watch. Now, in the other video, I showed you a lot of information, uh, actual reports on how this technology works together. When you put in just ECG plus PPG in the Scholar Google thing, this is what you get on just the first page. And there's several, like 19,000 pages of stuff related to the concept of ECG plus PPG. If you add to that search term HRV, which is heart rate variability, that's the difference between the heartbeats, remember, uh, that kind of is a gauge of your stress level and your heart coherence and heart math and all those concepts, uh, you'll come up with more reports that talk about heart rate variability as assessed between ECG and PPG technology. So Google that in the Google Scholar as well. And then finally, an invitation while you're in Google Scholar to put in the term PWTT, because that's the technology that's being used to compute your blood pressure from these two measurement techniques. You can learn about pulse wave transit time through these different documents here. So you ask about accuracy and whether this stuff has got some background and science to it. Here it all is. It's right at your fingertips. All you got to do is put in scholar.google.com and put in your search terms and you'll find it. All right. You've been watching Smartwatch Tick. Shortest review ever. Ha, that's because it's not really a, view, a review. It's an update. And uh, again, check the link to go to the actual review of this watch. The buying links from Banggood are down below, and it's nice and bright, so that's really good news.